First, let's start off with a clip of what inspired today's video. Ted Rossman wasn't surprised when I reached out asking about the recent APR hike on my Macy's credit card, which as of August 15th will jump to 34.49 percent. The senior industry analyst at Bankrate told me retail stores already have the highest APRs, and those rates have been climbing steadily, mirroring what the feds are doing. So, yes, Macy's APR is going up to 34.49 percent, but they're not the only one. There have been many significant increases that will heavily impact the consumers. When it comes to credit cards, these type of rates are attributed to the current economic climate, inflation, as well as the Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes. And what this is leading to is mounting debt for the consumers, especially if you're only making a minimum payment. So this is just going to be a quick video highlighting this issue. We have to be mindful and make sure to understand the terms of our credit cards and manage debt wisely. But before we go further, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my latest content. And make sure to leave a comment. So as I said, it's not just Macy's. The average credit card rate right now for the month of July 2024 is 24.72%. But individual cards, for stores, for example, like we're going to talk about right now, are even higher. Petco, ExxonMobil, they're both over 30%, just like Macy's. Target is at 29.95%. Best Buy has a range between 15.75 and 31.49%, depending on your credit worthiness. These are just a few examples, but these rates have gone up by about 4.5%. And these credit card companies are relying on us not paying off our balance in full, hearing that balance so that they can hit us with these high interest rates, as well as late fees. So the average late fee is $32. There is a legal dispute going on right now to try to get that lower to $8, but that hasn't been resolved. And these companies are dependent on these type of fees in order for them to make money. So, of course, they're trying to entice us with different sales and specials, points, cashback rewards, all of these different things. But you have to know how to manage it wisely so that you are truly making out and reaping the rewards instead of just winding up paying out so much to these different companies. Be aware of the fees. Be aware of the APR. Are they going up? How much interest are you paying? When I was trying to clear up debt, I would do percent options on another card in order to give myself time to get the balances paid down and not have to be battling the interest. And if that's not an option, this is definitely a case where I will call up and ask if there is any option of getting a lower rate. All they can do is tell you no. Just like what I shared with Best Buy, having a large range of different percentages that they offer to their customers. If you started off at a higher rate, maybe your credit has improved, but they're not looking to pass on a lower rate to you. We have to get out there and try to advocate for ourselves. Let's take another look at the news article that sparked this video. They're going to break down a $1,000 credit card charge, looks like, at these rates. They asked Rossman to calculate how long it would take to pay off a $1,000 Macy's bill under the new 34.49% rate by only making minimum payments. That would keep somebody in debt for 58 months, so almost five years. The total interest expense would be $1,047. So in other words, you've more than doubled your initial outlay. I am a credit card person. I use my credit cards for everything that I can, as much as possible, groceries, gas for the car, utilities, car insurance, and then I pay it off in full. That is the key to success paying your card in full, making sure that you're not getting hit with any interest. So that is what I aim for, not to pay any interest when I use my cards. Share in the comments, what are your interest rates looking like on your major credit cards like Visa and MasterCard, as well as your store cards? How are you going about managing 
your credit and not being hit with fees and interest charges. One other thing that has really helped me when it comes to using credit cards and not getting hit with interest charges is having my emergency fund. So when I run into an issue, I can pay off that charge in full. The two for me definitely go hand in hand. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let me know. Are you a credit card person? If you lose a single dollar, a dollar, a cent, if you lose a single cent in interest within a single year, you are not a credit card person. You have not managed it correctly. So again, are you a credit card person?